Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with the world's fastest meatballs. That's right, I'm going to show you an incredibly fast, no-chop meatball mixture. But wait, that's not all. Not only is this a no-chop meatball recipe, it's a no-roll meatball recipe. And yet, with all those shortcuts, it's still incredibly delicious, and this is how you make it. Okay, so the best part about a no-chop meatball recipe is the no-chopping part. So you're just going to take some ground beef and ground veal. By the way, you can use any combination of beef, veal, and pork. So I crumble that in a bowl, all right? And then in a small bowl, I'm going to take some plain breadcrumbs. I'm going to add some milk, one whole egg, some dry Italian herbs. I have a little touch of granulated garlic, a little splash of olive oil, a big pinch of red pepper flakes. And then we're going to mix that together with a whisk. By the way, instead of calling this the wet breadcrumb mixture, we call it a slurry. It's shorter and sounds more official. So when your slurry's mixed, set that aside, and it's back to the bowl of meat, which we're now going to season with salt, black pepper, and for me, just a little pinch of white pepper. And if you don't have it, that's fine. After the salt and pepper, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese, the real stuff from Parma, Italy. All right, at that point, you're going to transfer your slurry mixture into the meat bowl, and you're going to give it a good mix. And for my next trick, I'm going to turn a wooden spoon into a rubber spatula in three, two, all right, so we're going to mix that together. Stop worrying about overmixing. This meatball recipe is indestructible. So I'm not saying intentionally overmix it, but once it's mixed, stop. So right there, I'm good. I'm going to stop and begin to shape the meatballs. But before we shape them, I'm going to need you to line a baking sheet with some aluminum foil and then brush it lightly with oil. And then for the most time-consuming step in making meatballs, the rolling. Except we're not going to roll. We're going to scoop. Besides being fast because it's no chop, this method uses a scoop instead of rolling. So you're just going to take one of these small sorbet scoops. They sell them at every kitchen supply store. And by using this, you can scoop a whole tray like that in about five minutes. And you're going to get the same basic shape, except they're going to have extra nooks and crannies, which is an advantage. All right, ask anybody that slices sandwich meat. Surface area equals flavor, okay? So I know they're a little rough around the edges. In fact, I have like a pet nickname for them. I call these my Rough Riders. And yes, I've heard through the grapevine that DMX is not happy about that. But that's another story. And this method really does save a tremendous amount of time. So we're going to scoop all that out. It should fit on one sheet tray. Once they're scooped, we have to brown them. This can also be a time-consuming step. Some people fry, some people bake. We're going to go even faster. We're simply going to brown those under a hot broiler. It's going to take like half the time that baking or frying would. And as soon as they're browned, you're done. Now, if you're not interested in the world's fastest meatballs, but are fine with one of the world's fastest meatballs, you can flip these over and brown the other side if desired. I didn't, but feel free. Now, ideally, as your meatballs were browning, you already had a pot of pasta sauce on the stove, already hot. You're going to transfer your meatballs in. And as soon as that comes back to a simmer, you're ready to eat. So if your sauce is already hot, Start to finish, you can do this recipe in about 35, 40 minutes, okay? And of course, if you have an extra 15, 20 minutes, maybe a half hour, let the meatballs simmer in the sauce a little bit. It's only going to make the sauce more flavorful. So don't worry about overcooking the meatballs or them getting tough. Not going to happen, okay? And you know how this story ends, right? We put it over spaghetti, we top it with some extra Parmesan, and we dig in. There you go. The world's fastest meatballs. Like I said, despite saving all that time with the no chopping and the no rolling and the no frying or baking, it still comes out amazing. And you'll have to take my word for that. But these were really good. A fabulous plate of spaghetti meatballs. Of course, it's not going to be as epic as the traditional methods, but it's not supposed to be. This is like a weeknight. You're craving spaghetti and meatballs, but you don't have hours and hours to spend. This is a great alternative. So I hope you give it a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy 